All right, back to the spider. Walked mugs, rode a victory. I rebuilt these five years ago, rebuilt them again a couple of years ago, and rusted in the cylinder. I don't know why. Hmm. Huh. Guess they've got some corrosion salt right in the aluminum. Huh. Seized. Had to tap them up with a hammer. Not looking good. Put the camera here on the spare tire. On the rear tire. Tap the. Let's see what you're seeing here. Tap one side of it and I'll take the other side out. Hmm. Not the best thing when your wheel cylinders keep seizing every two or three years. Normally those pistons just slide right out. Sometimes they fall out while you're doing a brake job. You sell a special pair of pliers to hold them in. Can't believe those are spotlessly cleaned. Now. I put a pair of vice grips on the brake hose. Boy, that's hard rubber. It's gonna leak. Got my honing tool here, but the stones are mangled. It's a fraction too big for this wheel cylinder. So I'm gonna hone things out a bit and put it back together, but I'm gonna buy new wheel cylinders because this is kind of stupid. All right, I've got the old stones that were all busted up ground off, put the new ones on, they don't fit exactly because we're putting on Made in USA stones with a Made in China honing tool, so I'll set the camera back down here on the tire and uh, kind of see what you're looking at here hope I get it aimed right, because it's against a board and I can't really see so, well, looks about right, better than that sunglass camera that got the roofs of everything. And I wasn't looking at the roofs. The lens is missing and I couldn't tell until I put it on the computer. So it's all wrapped up and back it goes. 240 bucks. A little too much money. A little too much. How long you're supposed to do it for? I'm not sure what kind of fluid or liquid you're supposed to use. I'm using silicone because I got lots of it. It's cheap. And I'll flush the heck out of it. These cylinders are no good anyways. I'm gonna take the zoom off. Looks pretty mucky to me. Spray a bit of brake clean in there. Brake clean. Yeah, that's the problem with those cameras you have no viewfinder. I thought it was bad enough with these new digital cameras they don't have a viewfinder except the screen sucks so much juice out of the batteries. At least that thing charges while you're uploading to the computer. This camera when I connect it it drains the battery. So if I leave it on the camera on the computer by mistake overnight come back in the morning the battery is totally dead. It lasts about an hour or so I guess. Alright, I'm gonna hone away from this side. I got mugs in his cage kennel enclosure screeching away. We just took him for a walk. It's it's hard. Parents are burdened with a lot more serious illnesses with children. Let's go see what he's up to. We just took him for a walk.
walk for 15 minutes. Carried him part way. But he is screeching away. You hear him? Oh boy. He heard me. Oh, poor mugs. Why do you screech like that? We're not pulling your tail. Why do you screech? Mugs. Mugs. Whoa. That's why you can't do that, Mugs. Mugs. Come on. No, 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 no. I'm gonna have to carry you, Mugs. There's no running here. This is walking only. There. Walking only, Mugs. There, try to focus the camera a little bit. I'm gonna put him in the house, even though he's soaking wet. Had a little accident in the towel that we used to suspend him. We're gonna have to go. He couldn't take it. Andrew, I'm, you Screeching. can't do that. Screeching. Good boy, Muggs. Good boy. All right. Well, I got to put a battery in. Battery's getting weak. I cleaned it out, lubed it with brake fluid, and cleaned it with a tissue, and lubed it up with more brake fluid. I'm using synthetic brake fluid, which presumably doesn't absorb water. It's not hydroscopic. It's not silicone brake fluid. It's synthetic. Anyways, I put some inside, put some on the rubber seals, I'll put the spring back in that I cleaned off with brake cleaner, get all the goopy off of it, and I don't know why they seized up. Don't know. Don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I called the auto parts store the flap for new ones and they didn't have any in stock. The guy had them for the truck. Let's see what we got here. Zoom in a little bit. So I'll take the other seal, which is over here, and the rubber's in good shape. It's a 15 sixteenths Wagner Lockheed, right there. I've got the cap, put some oil on the cap, I'll just hardly uh, slurp some on, I'll just pop it in, make sure not to pinch the cup. This piston, which is over here, which I cleaned off with some sandpaper. Rubbed in a little bit. Clean it off with a reasonably clean tissue, Kleenex. Did you know the word zipper was once a patented name or a trademark name? Yeah, zipper. Yeah, nice and gritty. That baby in. The other one wants to pop out. I do have a little tool to hold those in. There's air pressure. I want to push them both. I should have opened the bleeder first. Have a little gizmo. I'll show you. A little springy thingy. Specially made for the job. Right here. Simple tools. Complicated jobs. Rice rocket. There. All right, I gotta open the bleeder up and put the brakes back together. All the little pieces are there. Hope I remember which way they go.